Rurock Atlas or Rurock Atlas Drop 2. If you are searching for these two types of helmet, the new version of the Atlas is a lie. They don't have resolved the big issues and that is another one that is a massive flaw that I don't have cover on the channel. And besides that, on this video I'm going to tell you the truth about this company. They are lying to you. This helmet is not worth it, your money. So if you want to know everything about this one, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and let's talk about the Rurock Atlas once again. First of all, I'd like to say that the look of this helmet is amazing, the view inside the helmet is really good and it's difficult to beat how lightweight is this helmet. But the truth is they are a bunch of liars and what they are doing to you and they try to do to me is disgusting. But we'll talk in a minute about that. Let's talk about the visor because this video, first of all, is to tell you why it's impossible to use this helmet, at least in England, almost all the year. First of all, this helmet and this visor don't have pin lock. So basically you don't have two layers on the visor. So when it starts to get cold or when it's raining, forget it, it's horrible you have to be constantly opening and closing your visor because it gets full of moisture and it completely fogs inside the helmet. I know that few of you guys have already received the chin guard but if it's already problematic like this with all the air coming from the bottom with the chin guard it will be even worse. And what is more disgusting on this company is they just released the drop 2. So Atlas drop 2. And the truth is if you see the videos they don't have changed the screws, they don't have changed anything. Obviously the pads inside they have already changed because I have already seen few few guys that have received the Atlas the first uh, first version but it's impossible to use. I would like just to let you know guys that they send me back all my money. And why? Because it's it's complicated, but we talk about that in a second. So because of this problem, they send me the RG1. And why? Because I don't use motorcycles, I use my EUC. And I don't know if you can see the dust, but I basically never use this helmet, it's horrible. I will talk in another video about the RG1 DX. It just looks nice, but it's not worth your money. And also I'm going to cover on the channel the shockwave and because this one will come with the shockwave and they said to me no the shockwave is amazing on the RG1 another lie but we'll come back about that in other videos because I'll do two other videos of this one but we are here to talk about Rurock, the liars and this helmet so they sent me that helmet to use in the winter or when it's raining because they know that is a flaw they told me that they are going to release the visor with pin lock but what we can see on the photos there is no pin lock at all on the new helmet so after i released the first video on my channel i've been contacted by a guy from rurock on the email he says that he really likes my videos that uh, i'm a legend that is his words i'll leave i'll show you the email during the time that i'm talking my energy is amazing because in the first video i was saying to you guys sorry if i'm not with the energy that you normally see me on the videos they offer me the opportunity to be sponsored i never knew what type of sponsorship besides the fact that they will send me all their products for free and i'll receive before everyone else so they was trying to buy my silence and they pay me my helmet back and they give me that one the shockwave this piece of garbage i paid what they asked me to do was if i wanted to be sponsored by them and to receive all their products for free i will have to delete my first video but when i receive that email i'll have already record the second one that i start to defending them because they told me that i was going to meet them see their office they will find a solution i really believe in them i really believe that they was doing changes to the helmets to make it better i really believe that they wanted to work with me because they like my work but in the end, because I said that I was not going to delete those videos, I never get any answers back from Rurock. Supposedly was just leaving the building. Two days later, he was not coming to the office for the last five days. He was feeling sick. After 
through Facebook or Instagram, I don't remember. They told me that his girlfriend, he left him and they was together for five years. So it's funny, it's funny that um, they always find a different excuse with the same person, so I can't trust them in that way. After I've been in contact with by you said to me that, yeah, they wanted to work with me because my work is amazing, but for that I will need to erase my videos. And I said to them that I was not going to do that because it's the same that I was asking them to take out the Atlas from the market. The videos, they are my babies. It takes me hours to produce. My job here is to say the truth to you guys. Their job is to make a good helmet, a good product. And that is the work between a YouTuber and a company. I don't work for a rock and I will never accept to work in those conditions. So that's why I was saying in the beginning that you should not trust in the big channels because they just want to make profit with Rurock. And um, in the moment that I'll have to do that, I'm not myself. When I come here and I say that the product is good, it's because the product is good. But we can definitely see that they don't care about their community because they just released a new helmet that is exactly the same just the pads supposedly they are a bit better with the same crap visor and just with a different design the nose will continue to touch on the inside the whistle inside the helmet for sure will continue the same i can't work with companies like that i'm sure that will come the guys that loves this company and they will protect them saying that uh, i'm just a hater i'm not a hater they offered me to be sponsored by them and I refused because they asked me to hide the truth from you guys. So you decide if you want to spend money in a company like this. Let me know what is your opinion about this history, about this company and let me know if you think that I've done the right thing and if you was in my place, what you have done. You have accepted to lie to your community, to your followers. Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, thank you very much to being that side. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.